Hi there, it's Miss Novakowski coming to you from the studio at Grower Elementary in the Richmond School District. This week's project is a magic folding square and we just tried to do it online with about 150 children and it was a little bit tricky to do online because I couldn't come through the screen to help you. So I have made this short video to hopefully help you um, finish your project and be able to stop and pause um, the instructions for when you need them. So enjoy, have fun making a magic square. Here's one of the ones that we made. And again, they transform and you find out how many different layers there are to this square. Great, have fun. So to make a magic folding square, you need to start with a square piece of paper. You will also need a pencil, a ruler or something to crease your folds, a pair of scissors, and then either some flat stickers or crayons or pencil crayons to add some color to the different squares. This is called a magic folding square and this is what we're going to make today. I wonder how many sides it has. Here's a red side purple side, but watch how we can transform it. Now there's a pink side, there's a purple side. Now we found a yellow side. Oh, there's the red again. There's the purple. Can we find some other colors? Oh, there's pink. There's yellow. There's red. Have we found them all? Not sure. Oh, and there's blue. And there's orange. How many different sides did we find in the magic square? Let's have a look at this one when we open it up and see what we started with here. So we started with this grid, kind of like a frame with a square cut out in the middle. And let's notice sort of what patterns we see in these colors. These ones have two opposites. These ones have opposites as well, across from each other. And then on this side, the same thing. Two purple here, and then two purple here. Reds opposites each other, and then the oranges, etc. So I'm gonna show you how to fold this and cut this and put this magic square together. Okay, so we're gonna start with a square of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. So we're gonna fold it up. We're gonna use our fingers to crease that line there. You can see now we've created two rectangles. And then we're gonna fold up from the bottom. It's called the book fold to meet the center line. And then do the same thing from the top, down to meet the center line. Okay. And then open that up and we should see four long rectangles. We're gonna turn it or rotate it. One turn and now do exactly the same thing. Fold it up from the bottom, fold it in half, We create a rectangle. So we've now folded those other rectangles in half. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangles. And then we're gonna take from the bottom, fold up to the center line. And then from the top, I find it easier sometimes to turn it around and then do it again from the bottom up to the center line and across. So now you should have 16 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now this is where we need to cut that square out of the middle. So these four squares we're going to cut out and I'll show you how to do that. So again, fold up from the bottom to make our rectangle like we started with. And now we're gonna cut from the fold where my finger is here up to just that fold line, not all the way through, just from here to here, one side of the square. And then the same thing on this side, from the bottom fold up to that fold line. You can mark it with pencil or a ruler if you want, but I'm just gonna use my eyes here. One snip there, and then one snip there. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. 
if we open it up, there's two slits like this. All right, now we're going to turn it, rotate it again, and do the same thing. Fold up from the bottom, and then cut up one side of the square, and then the same thing on this side. Then this piece will come out, and it's two by two square, four squares, and then we have our frame. And then I'll show you how to fold this frame. So one tip before we fold, which will help us later, is we're just gonna draw a line along this fold right there. I can use my ruler, you can just sort of visualize and estimate it. But just so we remember that that's the fold that we're gonna have to do a kind of a special move, paper folding move with, okay? So that's on my bottom left here on top of that square. Okay, so we're gonna go counterclockwise Starting from the bottom, fold up those four squares. And then from the right, fold in those three squares. And again, I'm just gonna make sure I'm creasing this really well. Fold down the top three. And now I've got a rectangle. Now you would think if we were following the pattern, we would just fold that over, but that's not going to weave the paper together to create all those sort of layers that we want. So this is where that special move comes in. So I'm gonna use my fingers here and create this little opening or pocket and I'm gonna push the paper in there. See where there's that line that I drew with the pencil? That's, I'm gonna take that fold and fold that up and push that fold down to the bottom there. I'm gonna keep pushing it and everything else, I'm gonna hold that down. So I'm pushing that fold down and then all these just kind of start to fall into place. And I'm gonna crease this and there we go. I'll show that one more time because that's kind of a tricky fold. Okay, so we're here. We see where that line is and this line is gonna get folded over to the bottom here. So we have to push it through. Okay? So we're gonna make that, create that little opening there and then take our fingers and push that fold. See where that line is? We're gonna push that fold. Keep pushing it with my fingers. Push, push, push. Till it goes down to the bottom there and then those other pieces will fold in. Just gonna do that fold again a little bit closer up. So hopefully that you can see that. So I open this sort of pocket with my fingers. There's where that pencil line is. And I'm gonna take that pencil line and push, push, push it down, down, down in that little pocket. And then that other part just flaps in and there is my magic square. Now I'm gonna decorate the four squares on each side. And I'm gonna use the same shape or the same color or the same number or the same letter. So I could use pencil crayons and write A, 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 A. And then on another side, B, 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 B. It's up to you what you wanna do. I'm just gonna use these stickers. So I've got red on that side. And I'm not worried about what size they are. I'm gonna flip it over. Maybe I'll use purple. Again, your stickers have to be flat, not thick or puffy, so that you can transform the paper. Okay, and then to transform it, I just kind of reach in with my fingers and pull, whoops, and now we've got another square. Okay, so what color should I use for these? I'll use maybe this bright green color here. I can find some more of those. Oh, these ones are little bitty ones, that's okay. They're still the same color. Okay, now, Reach in again, pull. Oh, see, see, that's not working for me, so I'm not gonna force it. I don't wanna rip the paper. So I'm gonna try this way. Okay, so we've got the red again. I get another one. Oh, there we go. So again, just gonna flatten it down each time, and that will help me as I keep doing this. It'll make it move a little bit more smoothly. So putting my orange stickers on, and I keep doing this until I've got all the sides covered. So 
there's my green, there's my purple. Sometimes you might not be sure how many sides there's supposed to be. And all of a sudden one will pop up and it's like, oh, there's still one more. I don't know if I've got them all yet. I keep trying. Do you think I've got them all? I think maybe I do. Okay, you know how I can check? I can open this up. I open it up. Oh, see, I missed some. I missed one square. Oh, I missed two. So I'm going to have to go back and find those. Okay, so I opened it up. I saw some missing ones and I used the pattern that we saw earlier to put my stickers on. And now I'm gonna fold it up again. I'm gonna use that line. Where's my line here? Here's my line to help me again. Fold the bottom, then the side, then the top. And then push that through. There we go. So now I've got all of my different layers done. And have fun with your magic square. <laughs>